Well, spring football is just about here. It starts next week for the Missouri Tigers without quarterback Matty Mock. Coach Barry Odom dismissed Mock from the team in late January after Mock violated team policies again. KOMU 8's Chinme Vadia takes a look back at Mock's up and down career at Mizzou. If you can't find empathy in this story, I don't know where you'll find it. He was at the top. And after he got to the top, it just seemed to be a steady decline, and now he's at rock bottom. The man now at rock bottom is former Missouri quarterback Matty Mock, who brought national high school records and high expectations to Columbia in the fall of 2012. The immediate, I think, response was, this is Chase Daniel version 2.0. They wanted him to be the next Chase Daniel. Chase Daniel, the Mizzou legend who took the Tigers to back-to-back -to -back Big 12 North titles. The man Mock was supposed to replicate. Just dropping by the minute to the corner of the end zone. Two plays, touchdown Missouri. That one goes to Bud Sasser. What a start from Matty Mock. Mock got his opportunity to shine in 2013 when James Franklin went down with a shoulder injury. The redshirt freshman put up spectacular numbers in limited playing time and helped the Tigers win the SEC East and the Cotton Bowl. With his great play came great expectations for 2014. Most fans, I think, at that point thought, Okay, they're going to be better next year because they're going to be better at quarterback. But Mock was in trouble off the field before he even got on the field. In August 2012, Mock was arrested and charged with four misdemeanors for recklessly operating a motor scooter. That incident would be the first of many off the field issues in Mock's career. That was the first time we saw him as this guy that wasn't necessarily the traditional sense of the quarterback. Mock then had problems on the field. The quarterback threw four interceptions in a 34-0 loss to Georgia, and all of a sudden, doubt set in. I don't think anybody at that point thought that they would be winning the SEC East. I think some people were even wondering if they'd go to a bowl. If you told me after that game that Mizzou was going to win the SEC East, I would have called you a liar. But the Tigers won six straight games, defeating Arkansas in the final game to repeat as division champions. Mock wasn't putting up spectacular numbers, but he was winning games. It was just, again very much who Matty was. He, he never seemed to be the reason they won, but they always won. Mock entered 2015 as the starter due to his success, but a string of off-field incidents ended with an indefinite suspension in late September, and this time, there was no coming back. Once you flip that switch, once you suspend Matty Mock, start your true freshman, then you can't just unflip it. Mock ended his career with a winning percentage higher than Chase Daniels, two division titles, and two bowl wins. I would just say he was inconsistent. I would just say chaos. Turbulent has to be the word that I would use. But winner didn't end up being the word for Mock's career at Mizzou. Chin Mevedia, KOMU 8 Sports, Columbia. So the Tigers start spring ball next week with a new head coach, Barry Odom, but not the quarterback, Matty Mock. Mock finished his career with 42 touchdown passes, the fourth highest total by a QB in Mizzou history.